I would play this game every single minute of my life if I could hit like this consistently. Yo, what's going on, everybody? We're back with another video today, man. We're gonna be using uh, the all-switch hitting team. Um, so catch, we got Adley Rushman. Honestly, Jorge Posada, even though it's secondary position, it's probably the best you can play at first base. I guess there's maybe that Eddie Murray, but still, Jorge Polanco is amazing. Jimmy Rollins, Jose Ramirez, Brian Reynolds, Mickey Mantle, Nick Swisher, Mondesi, Cattell Marte, Lindor, Escobar, Ray Durham on the bench, and then we're gonna be throwing Randy Johnson today because we are trying to make World Series. We're still not there, and we got like five days, so we got to go on a little bit of a win streak, get some wins here and there, and then we'll be all right. Feature report walk. Oh my goodness. Wait, Nelson Cruz is signing a one-year deal with the Padres. Oh, he's going to fit right in with Tatis. They both can do steroids together. Ha! Got him! Got him! Now, listen, I understand you're probably thinking, hey, Nelson Cruz is really, really old. I don't care, dude. What were his stats last year? Hold on. 2022 had 10 home runs and hit for 234. Oh, that's tough. Maybe I got a little too excited for this. In 2021, though, he did hit 32 home runs. Anyways, before I saw that, what I was going to mention is they talked about, they said, uh, who's your guys' guess for, that's so tough, the cover in MLB The Show 23, and they gave us four names. Now, do they actually know who's going to be on the cover? I don't know, but the four names they gave us were Aaron Judge, Bryce Harper, Julio Rodriguez, and Manny Machado. I don't think it's going to be Manny Machado. I don't think it'll be Bryce Harper. I just don't think they'll go with those two. And I don't think it'll be Aaron Judge unless they've got like an actual, another Yankee as a legend. But anyways, I don't think it's going to be Aaron Judge unless they get like a Roger Maris, a Derek Jeter, an A-Rod or something like that, because then they can have them be the legend edition with Aaron Judge. Um, other than that, I do think they're just going to go J-Rod. I think they're just going to go Julio Rodriguez. That's who it's going to be. Possibly Jazz had a chance, but but I feel with Jazz not even being mentioned here, he isn't going to be on the cover. I feel like there would have been, I, I don't know. I'm not saying that SDS leaked it to Bleacher Report or anything like that, but I do feel if Jazz was going to be on the cover, they would put him in the top four. And it doesn't mean it got leaked either. I just don't think it would almost be good promotion on SDS's part where if Jazz Chisholm's not being talked about as being the cover at all, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, it's Jazz. I think it's just gonna be J-Rod. I think that's what makes sense. It's a young guy. They tend to go with younger guys anyway. And they went with Judge. It was when he was younger. Tatis, and then I know Otani isn't young in years, but actually like being in the MLB, you know, he's considered young. He hasn't been in the MLB that long, so. No, dude, all that, and then I struck out there. That's bad at bat, boys. On to our next little segment where we talk about cards we would like to see in MLB The Show, and today, our topic be around switch hitters today. The number one switch hitter I would love to see back in this game, and I feel... Oh, that's really tough. That's really tough. And this is a personal reason. It's Jose Reyes. I want Jose Reyes back in the game. Having Jose Reyes in this game would be awesome, especially if they could give him a good card, you know, with some boosted power here and there. The second switch hitter I would like to see back in this game is uh, Mark Teixeira. A Mark Teixeira card would be awesome. Now, number three, I would like to go, I mean, it's just Pete Rose. It's just Pete Rose. If we could get Pete Rose in this game, that would be that would be great. And I feel like there's less of a chance we get Pete Rose than like Barry Bonds or anything like that. I, yeah. I, I think getting Pete Rose is like the lowest odds out of every superstar. Oh, what? We really got thrown out right there? That's so tough. Would they? Oh my gosh. Sent that one to the moon, sir. And then the fourth switch hitter that I would like to see is uh, Carlos Beltran. Um, Carlos Beltran in this game would be pretty, pretty cool. And then the fifth one's going to be Lance Berkman. So, and just as I'm thinking about it right now, I am 1000% sure some of you guys are wondering, how do you have an all switch hitting team and you don't have Chipper Jones? I don't know why, but this year I don't like Chipper Jones. Last year, loved Chipper Jones. Literally loved Chipper Jones. This year, not a fan of Chipper Jones. I don't know what it is. Just not a fan of his card this year. But last year... Chipper Jones might have been one of the best players in the game for me. Honestly, the entire year for sure. That dude was so good. I don't get why this year, for me, his card is just an absolute no-go. But last year, that thing was... That was the go-to card for me. Honestly. He walks Nick Swisher, which isn't bad. And it's Jimmy Rollins. Let's go, Jimmy. Now, at first, I wasn't hitting well with Jimmy. We've actually started to turn up with Jimmy Rollins so far. So... I have big things for Jimmy Rollins, and right there, he just hit a no-doubter. Grand slam, right on cue. Like I'm saying, we, we, we started off slow with Jimmy Rollins, but now he's just been cooking. And Jorge Polanco absolutely sent that one on an early, but jeez, dude. Jorge Polanco is, like, 
one of the most underrated cards in this game. Like, I'll be honest, if Jorge Polanco had the exact same stats, but had like a finest card this year or something, or it wasn't a flashback card, it was like a, an actual new card art, I would probably use them more often. It just, it just feels like content that's like, all right, already seen it. Not super excited. And Jorge Posada sent that. Is that that's in the third deck? 476 for Jorge Posada. That is insane. That is insane. This is the best team I've seen. I should just play with this team all the time. We are insane. Randy Johnson's even getting hits, isn't he? Oh, he actually caught that. I'm surprised it stayed in the air that long. Ah, let's go, baby. Oh my goodness, that just bounced off Sandy's face, dude. Is he good? I have said this since Sandy's all-star card has come out. Sandy is going to be trash in all these MLBs, man. Until his pitching animation or whatever gets better. I don't know. But this dude has been garbage this entire year. His, all of his cards. I can actually pitch decent with the 99 Corbin Burns. Like, we didn't pitch that bad with him last time. Um, And it's a little bit better. I can never pitch well with Sandy. And guess what? Every time I face Sandy, he gets absolutely crushed. I don't understand it. And once again, a home run right on cue. I'm telling you, this guy's BP. Do not pitch Sandy. Oh my goodness. Jimmy Rollins just hit another home run. I don't, I don't get it. This guy is amazing. Oh my goodness, another perfect, perfect. Am I on steroids? Am I on steroids? I hit like this every single game, even on Legend. If I hit like this, I would have the most fun playing MLB The Show. I would play this game every single minute of my life if I could hit like this consistently. There's something just so satisfying about hitting a perfect perfect and just hitting perfect perfects and they're just home runs and watching the ball fly and know that he may have dotted that pitch in the right corner or whatever he decided to do, but I'm just so much of a better hitter that I just sent that thing to the moon. There is no other feeling that you can get from a sports game. I, I, I refuse to believe it. Okay, there probably are actually are other feelings that are very similar to that, but you, you get what I'm saying, all right? You get what I'm saying? You know, but when that happens, it, it, it is not a good feeling when it's an early. Anyway. Back to back. Mickey Mantle's going to catch this. How am I supposed to rob that? We're probably going to get a cover announcement pretty soon. I think latest we get it end of January. We should get it a little bit sooner, hopefully, but we'll see. Oh, my goodness. Jorge Posada. That's his second home run because he hit one 476 earlier. How far did he hit this one? 424. He's insane. 900 feet between the two. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I like I I I have I have a Zen. I have a Zen. I'm cheating. I'm not. I'm not. I just I just have a normal controller. Don't 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 think I'm cheating, guys. Please 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 please. Oh my goodness! Is that a home run? At least it's not. Okay, but it is a hit, and that's a double. Oh, and Jose Ramirez does send it. He he goes yard. Okay. Okay, okay. Hey, fair enough, bud. We got the mercy. That team is absolutely cracked. Two home runs from Jimmy, two home runs from Jose Ramirez, two home runs from Jorge, Posada, and Polanco at 859. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.